Hey guys, today I'm going to be reacting to DW's library card. If you want to see the full unedited reaction, be sure to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash mattneff. Let's get into it. So, fun story, when I was recording this episode of FUDW, I was actually on vacation. Oh god, here she comes. But yeah, I was on vacation, so I ended up recording this in uh, the bathroom of my hotel. And if you've heard the episode of, if you've seen the episode of FUDW that I'm talking about, you'll know the audio kind of sounds like garbage. So yeah, I vowed I'm never gonna do that again. Very fun Clifford reference. Yeah, great excuse. Because, I mean, you've, like I said in the episode, you've clearly been to the library before. Like, someone has clearly explained this rule to you. Oh, shut up. I've always been curious how these two specifically became friends. Like, I know they sort of bonded over their whole green chip experience, but I don't know. I guess there's been weirder friendships in life. She's still being very loud, I should point out. Like, she's speaking at full volume. I'm surprised they haven't been kicked out of the library yet. I will say, this is kind of a stupid worry on Arthur's part. Like, I know, like, a lot of times when you're younger, you're worried, oh, if I do something wrong, you know, it's gonna end up on my permanent record. A spoiler alert, permanent records don't matter in life. They just, they just don't. Also, Arthur, what reputation are you trying to protect? Like, you're not the biggest loser in the world, but you're not you're not Francine level cool. You'll be fine. Are there any questions? When will we be old enough to get our own library cards? I love how they just do not care about the puppet show at all. That's not how library cards work, but okay. Ah, yes, the four-year-olds that have clearly already gone through puberty. I love the weird, like, when it's very clear that the characters have, uh, when the voice actors have been switched out. I always think that's fun to see. This is something I didn't realize until I uh, recorded this episode of FUDW. I didn't realize that the librarian's name was Paige Turner. Uh, that's just a clever little joke that I think they came up with. I I'm not sure if her character was in the books, if she is, I'm curious if that was her name in the books as well. It's Again, this is such a waste of paper. Like, there's a reason there's an eraser on the pencil. That's right, just give up. Give up after one afternoon. See? You don't have to waste a bunch of paper spelling out your name every single time. I love how the Tibbles are just fully grown adults in this episode. For real though, these types of moments of panic are 100% real. Like you just have your moments where like you completely forget like where you are, the difference between right and left. I like how the card is also bigger than her hands. Like look, it's literally the size of her head. Ah, the meme face. She's had the card for all of five seconds and already she's impatient. She's feeling like very entitled, like, I deserve this book, I deserve this book. It could come back before then, but Saturday is when it's due. Like, I get that kids are impatient, but like, the level she go to, she goes to. Like, she's, it's not like she's just like bugging her parents, like she's specifically reaching out to the library every single day, multiple times a day. It's like, I'm sure I was that annoying as a kid, but it's just, to see it personified, it's just, ugh. Indoor voice, DW. Karen. Fine, go home. I'll just tell mommy that you left me here all alone. 
Well, to be fair, why is why is Mrs. Reed letting the kids walk to the library on their own? Like, I never thought about this. Like, this is like an eight and a four year old. No parents would let him walk to the library alone. Oh, poor Aloysius Zimmerplatz. Up oh, there it is. I should have known. You heard it. It's all wrinkly. It was like that when they took it out. It's an old book. We would never hurt a library book. If you do, ah, the book purists. Library card forever. You can never have another library card again. I genuinely love all the fantasy sequences in Arthur episodes. They're just some of the most imaginative animation I've ever seen. Did he, though? I I don't think he ever actually said the words, you will never get a library card. Like, I know he specifically said, I'm not going to check the book out for you, but I don't think he ever specifically said, you can never get a library card. I mean, you've done enough for me already, Arthur. Maybe later, huh? He's right to be suspicious. So yeah, when I saw this bit about the calendar, um, I thought, I wonder if that lines up with an actual date on the calendar. And it turns out it lines up with a month in uh, 1998, which I thought was a fun little detail they added. Also, she if she didn't want to hurt the book, she could have just returned it to the library at any point during the week. At this point, she should know not to trust anything the Tibbles say. Kaboom. <laughs> book out. See, that's my name. You used to have to write your name here whenever you took a book out. I'm curious if the other names of the book are like reference to anyone who like worked on the show, like maybe animators or storyboard storyboard animators. I mentioned this in the FD, FUDW episode, but I think it's weird that he didn't remember that he had checked out this book before. Like, I get that, like, it's easy to forget every book you've ever read, but considering how much Arthur loves books, I feel like he would remember the first book he ever checked out from the library. And this is where Arthur sets up his own demise. You screwed yourself, Arthur. Thanks for watching that reaction. Be sure to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash for more Arthur and FUDW content. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.